Hi, this is the Green Lego Productions here, and I'm going to show you how to make a Lego water dispenser. And these are all the pieces you need. It's quite simple, actually. Okay, now we can start to build. So first, you need a 2x1 piece, and you need a flat 2x1 piece with a little nubby on it. And then you're just going to put it right on top, like that. Now, you're going to take another 2x1 piece, except it has a little hole in the center of it. And it has to be the one with one hole, not two, or else it just wouldn't work. So, just put it right on top, like that. And now, it should look like this. Okay, so now you're going to take a little clear, or it can be a solid color dome, like this, and you need a little piece like this, circular, and you're just going to put it in it like that. Now, I'm going to take this. Put that right in the hole, and then you take little door handle or hose and put it on a piece of your choice. Oops. And then you take a little you can either put another one of these on here, or you can take a switch, lever, whatever you wish to call it, and put it right on that piece. And then it's like your little thing, yeah. And then the mug, just a little decoration, and there you go. And you can actually fill this up with water if you, if, like, with real water or any choice of drink. So, there you go. Hi again. Now I'm going to show you how to make a gumball machine or a candy machine. There's actually two ways to show you how to make them, and right now I'm just going to show you the first way. So, these are the pieces you need. Okay, so we're just going to start off with making the first part. So you need a 2x2 two two square, and you also need either two separate ones of these, or just a 1x2 piece with two little nubbies on it. I'm just going to put that right on there. And then you're going to take another two by one piece and put it right behind it like that now going to take a flat two by two square put it right on top of those and now to make your candy machine come look more real you can actually take some sprinkles and put them in there and I'm just going to do that right now. They can be any kind of sprinkle you want. Okay, like that. Now, if you're doing this, make sure you're careful and you put it on upside down. Like that. And now, going to take a 1x2 vent and it's gonna look like a little coin slot thing. You're just gonna put it on the side of your choice and you're going to take a one piece slant and going to put it like that so that's like where the candy comes out. And that's the first way to do it. Hi 
again. So this other cane machine or gumball machine is actually a lot like the water dispenser we made earlier. So all you're gonna do is have these pieces and then you're going to take two by one piece and a two by one flat piece with a little nubby on it. You're just gonna put it right on top, just like we did before. Then you're gonna take the two by one piece with a hole in it, and it has to be one with just one hole in it, and just put it on top. And now you're going to take your dome and circle piece, and you're actually going to do the same thing that you did with the other one where you have some candy or sprinkles in it. I'm just gonna do that right now. Okay. And now, once you have that, you're just going to put the top on, the circle piece, and put it in the hole, like that. Then you're going to take the slant piece, put it on a side of your choice, make sure it's down, because it's like the thing that where the candy comes out of, and then your little coin slot, or a vent, two by one vent, and put it right on the side of your choice, and then there you go. Now you have two candy dispensers, and well, there you go. Hi again. So now we're going to make an old fashioned TV. And these are all the pieces you need. Feel free to pause or stop the movie to if you want me to slow down. Or if you need to catch up on something. So, let's get started. Okay, so we're just going to start off with the base. So you need a simple flat 4x4 piece and a window. It has to have like the curved edges and plastic. And what I did is I actually just took a sheet of paper and drew a little picture of people on it and put it in like that so then it looks like they're on a channel or watching something. And just put it on one of the sides like that. And then I'm going to take two 3 by one pieces and put them on the sides like so. And then you're going to take two 2 by one pieces and put them on top of the 3 by one pieces like that. And then you're going to take two 1 by one pieces and put them right next to them like that. And then to finish off the walls going to take two 3 by one pieces and put them on top, like that. And then you're going to take a raised 3 by 2 piece and put it on the bottom like that. And then take two two by two raised squares and put them on top of each other like that. That's trying that's like keeping it from collapsing in. Like that. And then you're going to take the top, which is another four by four flat square, and just put it right on. And then Take four cylinders, color of your choice, and put them on like that. 
on each corner, turn it over, and put on the little antennas, which are levers or switches, and the speakers, black vents, or color of your choice, and there you go, an old-fashioned TV.